But yeah. I tell you what a lot of people forget, you know. A lot of people forget, when they talk about Rossby, what they forget what happened at Abermain on the bend. No, I've never heard that. Tell me about that. One morning, so we, it was a demonstration. It was a demonstration against some free labour or bosses working at Abermain number one. And we organised the meeting and we marched from, uh, from Weston at Abermain and it's all there, and we marched up to there. We got to the bend and we were well, along the railway line and we sat on the railway line along talking. What year is this? What are we? Oh, just uh, you and the lockout. Yeah. 1930, anyway, around about that period. Anyway, the president of Abermain, he had to go over and into and the deputation. Anyway, he, he went over to interview the colliery people and we all sat along the railway line. It was practically down from Neath to down to Abermain. And all of us sitting there talking and yarn and all of a sudden we see some young chap we seen him coming down from the neath end and running. And he got in front of me or somewhere and he said, where's Mr... Uh, this was the, the president of Abermain number mine, and look, Mr. Sonso. And somebody said, no, he's over there at the, at the, uh, at the office. And he, he darted over there. But he never told us that the, the, the police, the flying gang, on the uh, Mackay, uh, had come from Cessnock. I think they had a demonstration in Cessnock and attacked the men that uh, are farther up near Neath and they start to run down towards us, scattered and we seen them coming down running, we start to run towards them yeah. and here's the police with their batons in their hand and their coats open and they were wailing into them and I always remember an old oak sh 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 shedding he was a little Welsh bloke and this copper came, big copper came and hit him on the head and he flat knocked him down and he picked himself up and he had his water bottle in his hand and he smashed it into the face of the, copper. of the copper. And I always remember this, whether it was Mackay or someone else saying, because we scattered into the bush, and he said, don't, chase, don't go into the bush after them, don't go into the bush after them. And that was the morning of my mind on the bend. Why is it down there? I never ever heard of that. Right? <laughs> but, uh, and I, funny, funny thing, I've never heard of it to, to, to talk about Roth, and Roth because yeah. of the big Big, big demonstration, event, because yeah. it was yeah. it was everyone from Rossby, you know, from all over Everywhere, the place. That was yeah. the, the big. But that happened. At the, at was that before or after Rossby? It was uh, after Rossby. After it, yeah. Yes, after. And that was uh, <laughs> he was us sitting there as innocent as. Uh, and I always say this: I reckon the railway line is made of blue metal. Yeah. And I couldn't find a bit of blue metal that day to shot at the coppers. Yeah, yeah. That's and only ash all along there. And they were they were coming. Up, they, they, they they came down in buses. And attack the, the top. Yeah. Well, they scattered and of course yeah. naturally running back to and towards yeah. And we wondered what they were running with and we, we got up and off our feet and started to go towards them. Yeah. And we, yes, that was that morning up there and that was the, what happened. You want the Yes, you whatever needs to be done. Yes, I uh, Yes, I uh, Yes, I Murray King and all those fellows at that. Yeah. It was great just to go and sit in the in the barber shop and listen to the talk. Uh, right, yeah. Alan says to me that those cut coming here, you no know, one he was a bloody barber. He said you never stop talking. Well, you want to talk? Well, I tell you what, I reckon that was part of when you were a young right, boy. Right. Yes, and the, and it was part of the social structure. Yeah, that's right. You you went and talked in uh, in uh, all sorts of places and. And you got information too. Yeah. Well, then you get a lot of information. And then it got passed on to others. You'd be telling it was a real news centre. They didn't have wireless. No, they did not. I I showed out on some old papers yesterday. Yeah. Eagles that Mane had kept. Yeah. 1923. They're in there. She was in there. Yeah. She was a great one for keeping things. I remember. Come here, Alan, and have a look at Jack now. Yeah. You, you're the secretary. You're going to. We're going to trim it down. Yeah, that's good. Old Ray Duncan, the footballer, he, he was only a lad and he, he was doing the flu epidemic. This was, and they had graves dug everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Look, there was graves dug, you know. Yeah. People died like flies doing that. And old Elijah Shakespeare, he, he was coming home drunk and he fell in one and he always wore a tassel suit, suit, suit old Elijah did. And when the blokes was coming through the dog watch, he must have woke up and put his head out the ground and said, Oh, there, what time is it? And Reese Duncan jumped off his bike, put on his head and run for his life. <laughs> Things have changed a lot since you were a boy. Oh, yeah. When I first started to work, 
I was 13 and 10 months. Yeah. And I started work at 6 o'clock in the morning. I worked till the till up past 5 at night. Yeah. Long day, wasn't it? Mm. Six days a week? Uh, uh, 6 till the 12 of Saturday. Saturday. Mm. What did you do Saturday evening? Play tennis or? Out in the bush. Yeah, out in the bush, <laughs> did you? No, that was on a selection. Yeah, oh, yeah, you cleared up and mm. worked on the property. Well, we used to uh, put our day's work in the mill and come home and have tea and go out in the paddock, yeah. dig round uh, stumps, stumps yeah. saw logs up and roll them in and set them alight. Yeah, the Many a time I've heard the train going through a wobble, like running down that hill, hill to yeah. the station, nine o'clock at night, and we're yeah. out lighting fires. Hard, hard life. What did you do then as a boy? Did you play in the bush as a kid or what did you do for, for fun? I wasn't 14 when we went out onto the selection. Yeah. The fun yeah. that I had was out grabbing around stumps and yeah. uh, sawing up logs and rolling them in alongside to burn them out. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of <laughs> we fun. Didn't get, we didn't get much recreation those days. No, no not like the kids today. No. Did, did, what sort of a house did you have on the selection? A slab place. A slab place, was it? Earth we went, floor? We went out and fell the trees and we yeah. got them. I forget now who brought them in. And uh, I think uh, the uncle let the dad have the, have the meal yeah. for the day while he cut them up. Into slabs. Mm. How was the mill driven? Steam. Steam. Yeah. Steam. Yeah. When I first went to the mill there, I wasn't 14, I used to drive the steam engine. Yeah, were they all steam, all those mills? Yeah. The whole lot of yeah. them? Yeah. Mm. I didn't think there'd be any electric power. No, no our light was kerosene. No water neither? No. We used to get it out of a, a swamp, our drinking water, when we first went out there. Oh, Dee and, and the Ben Ean were the only two that had the stills out there. Yeah. Uh, for making brandy. They used to use there, and I, I, I don't know that they use now. I was going to ask Max Lake when I was over at Victoria. White's legs. Yeah. And um, what they use Dr. Tom say that to stuff you, you used to put the eggs in, you know. Um, you could, uh, to preserve them, you know. preserve them, yes. What did, they, what did they do with the eggs with the wine? They'd find their wine with the whites of them. And oh, used yeah. used to come home when he worked at once, and he'd come home with a great big billy can full of eggs, yolks, you know. Yeah. And they used to make, oh, we used to have omelets out of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the whites, they, they... Use the whites to clean the wine. To find the wine, they, yeah, they call it. they call it fine, yeah. Oh, I don't think they do it now. Uh, they they use preservatives now, don't they? Oh, it's probably use something else. Yeah, yeah they, they use yeah. preservatives. Did you, did you ever go to grape picking, or...? Oh, yes. Did you, what to get for them? Picked a tear when I was about six years old. I think we, George and I, earned about three pounds in about three weeks hard work. <laughs> big buckets went We've got a penny a bucket. Yeah, big buckets. When you walk into the, to, to, to work and you, uh, you walk through the bratty door or through the, through the ventilation door, whew, the smell of like rotten eggs. Yeah. And you'd walk from here to there. Uh, uh, sulfur dioxide, not no, the, uh, sulfur and hydrogen. Yeah, the hydrogen, yes, something like that, sulfur and hydrogen. Yeah. And when you walk from here to there, you'd lost the sense of smell. That was a danger. Yeah. And we used to go in and work and uh, we'd fill on contract. But then, and in the day we couldn't we couldn't see we'd come out and we'd be blinded and that's that sore eye business yes a lot and nystagmus that used to call nystagmus okay. well as we'd come out at night the street lights would have a halo around it yeah. and the worse you are the bigger it was yeah. well it got that bad that the men were on contract that some had to be let out of the pit oh wow. that's the fact had to be let out of the pit you had to be led out of the pit. And in fact, when they got home to, to, to open the eyes, some of them used to go under the bed to, to, to lay down, to, to, to be out of the, 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 all the light. And my mother sang all the time when she was ironing. And the, 
of singing the baby to sleep and up all the babies. Yeah. And I had a little bit I kept down the Sydney Morning Herald where another person in Manly did the same. And it was oh Molly Riley, do you know that one? No, no. Oh Molly Riley, it's good for rocking. Yeah. Oh Molly Riley, oh I love you. Tell me Molly Riley, does your heart beat true? I'll marry you, my darling. I'll die if you say no. And my ghost will come and hold you, Molly Riley. It is a good role again, isn't it? Over and over. They'd never heard of anyone playing beads. Well, we had to play had beads. To beads. Well, you each had a collection of yeah. beads, naturally, and it was only the girls that played it. We used to hit them up against the school wall oh, yes, and come out back so far, yeah. and then your opponent had to hit hers up there so she could span it. Yeah. If you span the two beads, you, you took the two beads. Yeah, I remember yeah. seeing it played. Yeah. There? Yeah. Ah, well, yeah. it must have been a Cessnock thing. Yeah, I should remember seeing that played. I you know, say so in the young days, you yeah. had another bike, Jack was your bike. He used to ride a Red Indian motorcycle. Harold had a, I think Harold had a Harley Dave, and we had a Red Indian there, I forget now. An Indian, a Red Indian, an Indian motorcycle. And I used to have a BSA. And uh, we used to start yeah, from I the think, Devil's Elbow. Yeah, or right? even below that, I think. Yeah, well, sometimes we'd get them on the next turn. Yeah, yeah, come up. And that was a tricky thing running around, and yeah. it was all gravel, it was yeah. no <laughs> I finished up one Saturday afternoon with those now and I was uh, on the last turn to go into the top. He used to run right against the fence yeah. to get straightened up. And I, as I come out I got in some loose stones that was lying there, there were gravel stones. Yeah. And the whole bike stood right across the road, down yeah. in the gutter and up the other side of the bank. And I come off and sat on a bloke's lap. Well this bloke then couldn't talk for the day. Good hour. You've, you've been involved in quite a lot, son, yeah. over the years. Well, one time, now just imagine it now, yeah. of having a quarter mile flutters, speed trials on Maitland Road, yeah. past the gas works. Yeah. Try and have one now. Well, we used to have a, that bit when they first tired it. We used to start back down near the uh, telecom, yeah. near the telecom yeah. down. That's come over the top. Come over the top, and when you, when you hit the top, was a, it was when we used to have the flying, yeah. just over the bridge was the start line, yeah. and you let her out. We used to have flying for the miles, way down there, that the straight. <laughs> They'd go back a long, long way, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, well, that was back, you remember the time when um, Boy Charlton, well, would you remember Boy Charlton swimming? Did swim? Yeah. No? Yeah. Well, Boy Charlton, the swimmer, they used to, the blacks used to sell Newcastle Sun. Yeah. They'd go down the 8 o'clock train at yeah. night and get the late sun. Yeah. The first sun came in at 6. Yeah. The next sun came in the eighth thing. Yeah. You sell eight o'clock at night sounds suns in the street now. Yeah. I think you never never ever hear see, them now. Yeah. I see yeah. nothing yeah. like that, see? Yeah. Late uh, the late sun, the uh, last race. Yeah. Last race late, I think. Yeah. The fellow used to wait in the street for the last yeah. race. There's no, there no wires. Yeah. The only way to get the message. That's the message too. Yeah. Well, well Boy Charlton was doing the Olympics yeah. at that time. Well we were selling the Newcastle Suns. Uh, they were selling Newcastle Suns on the street, yeah. but we were selling them in the shop. shop yeah. We had a direct with the Newcastle p uh, firm. We had our bundle used to come up on the train yeah. at the night, the same. Yeah. Well, we have them out the um, front of the shop. The people standing there, and they were... Well, you couldn't move on the footpath, all waiting for the Newcastle That's Sun to come in to get the result of the last races from the Olympic Games that yeah. Boy Charlton was in. Yeah. And they used to be there. Well, and when they came in, well, it was a rough with what we used to do. We used to, wouldn't let them in the shop. Yeah. We used to have the, the uh, uh, papers on the counter. Yeah. We had the door partly shut so they couldn't open it. And they used to come in <laughs> like this. Yeah. 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 The suns were a penny each then, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you used to get the, the six o'clock, the cables didn't come through in time for the six o'clock sun from over the seas, but they came through in time for the down the clock. The, the, well, the, what, we used to get the sun up at six, but it was printed in Newcastle at four. Yeah, came on the train. Yeah, it came on the train. Well, then the other one used to come, but the next eight o'clock train. Eight o'clock train, but it used to come through about six o'clock at Newcastle, the cable or five or something, the cable would come through and they'd print it. Well, My father was Jack Gerrish. Jack yes, Gerrish, yeah. yes, my father. And who'd he marry? A curry girl? John, he married now. While he was living at Minmoy, yeah. while he was living at Wars End, 
The work, the mystery is to, an orchard just out of Dog Hole at Black Hill. Oh, yeah. On that side of the mountain, there were young fellows that worked for the orchardist. No girls. Over the other side of the mountain, yeah. they were all girls and no boys. <laughs> so that's how it all came about. Yeah. The boys on the Dog Hole side walked yeah. over the mountain yeah. to meet the girls on the other side. Other side. Yeah. He married Hilda Taylor, Hilda Mary Gerrish, Hilda Mary Taylor. Yeah. In 1904.